No milk today. My love is gone. Good morning, YouTubers. This is Mitch. I'm getting ready to go for a late morning, early afternoon run. I, I don't know what time it is. It's between 11 and a.m. and 1 p.m. And um, I'm going to leave the village. This will be my third day in a row running. Did I already say that? It's a, I'm amassing quite a streak. I'm going to go get some uh, milk at the farm a couple towns over. I don't know how far it is, maybe four or five kilometers one way. But I wasn't sure whether I, I take, the, take my sack with my milk bottles or if I carry the bottles uh, in my hand. And it may sound pretty obvious, but I had to think about it. So I think the best the decision I made is to, um, this, is, this is exciting. I'm going to carry the empty bottles of milk to the farm, the exchange for new ones, and I'm going to run back with two full bottles of milk if I'm successful. My wife's worried that I'm going to drop the milk. I was like, I'm not going to drop the milk. You just carry it like this and you run and it should be no problem. We'll see how it goes. This is, good. This is a running adventure. No milk today, my love has gone away. The bottle stands forlorn, a symbol of the dawn. No milk today, it seems a common sight. But people passing by don't know the reason why. How could they know just what this message means? The end of Got my milk, paid for it, put my empties in there. Got it out of the cooler here. You just get whatever you want, different milk products, and you pay right here on the honor system. I'm honorable. Okay, these bottles I have to say are a little heavier than I thought. I'm still taking two. We'll see if I can get them home without breaking them. Yeah, I did it. <sighs> Carrying milk is heavy. Two liters of milk, I don't know. It, uh, it weighs two liters. And I don't know how much that is in pounds. <sighs> but that was... <laughs> oh, that was so fun. But phew, I don't know if I would want to do it again. I didn't know I had some problems coming up the hill. It just got heavy. I was doing this. This is the method, preferred method. Then, I don't know, it got heavy, so I tucked him under my arms, and it's kind of the Herschel Walker move. Then I tried, I kind of on my belly, running like that. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know what to do. My fingers were freezing, too. Uh, it was fun. At the end, a car came coming by, coming my way, honked at me when I was carrying the, my milk like this. I don't know what it meant. I was, I was sort of offended. Maybe it's a compliment. I didn't feel like it. Uh, anyway, whew, the milk run. That's the first one I've ever done and probably never going to do it again. But whew, I encourage you to try it with, with milk from cows or um, maybe you can try it with uh, soy milks or almond milks. It works too. Send me that video of your milk lauf, of your milk run, and uh, I'll post it. I'll watch it and maybe post it. Thank you. Better get into what you got to get into. Better get into it now, no slack, please. United Nations ain't really united. And the organization ain't really organized. Ricky, ticky, ticky, mongoose has gone. Ricky, ticky, ticky. Everybody who read 
the jungle book and know the ricky ticky tippy the mongoose who kill snakes. When I was a young man, I was led to believe there were organizations to kill my snakes for me. I.e. the church, I.e. the government, I.e. school. But when I got a little older, I learned 